Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports halftime report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Rodgers now to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Second and ten. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. To throw is Rodgers. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Rodgers to throw once more. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Hardy set to return. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Second and six.
Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Ball start, offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Allen. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. To throw, it's Allen. Keeps himself upright. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. This one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Allen going to throw. And complete right side to Cook. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain of right around 35 yards on a play that started back inside their 10. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Here's Allen to throw it. It's caught inside the 25. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 34. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On play action, Allen, blitz coming and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack and it brings up second. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Throwing now is Allen to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. seven of this drive but it's a tough third and nine Samuel in motion now Allen that is caught and the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points boy this is a well orchestrated drive they've put together you think back to how far they were backed up to start things out but they've gone on a march since then and now after that completion there they've got a first and goal To the air, Allen. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Marquez Valdez Scantling from six yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. 
That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So that drive in total eight plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Another go around now for the Jets offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Rodgers. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play that time on the catch and run. 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. To throw, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. Taken in left side, it's Wilson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the four, this is second down and one. Throwing is Rodgers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Now it's Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Jets. Mike Williams from four yards out. And the Jets are back within a score. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. 
that had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will get him one closer. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Samuel going to go in motion right. Now Allen. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Five yards, now it's third and five. Allen now looks to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Pulled in at the 24. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On play action, Rodgers going right back to Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The 22 more yards there and another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Now a play fake, Rodgers. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. 
Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Rodgers again now. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will cut the lead down to just two. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And yeah, they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. And the Bills getting set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Coleman, the man in motion right. Here's Allen. Coleman has it here right side. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Here's third and six. Allen. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Allen to throw once more. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Allen going to throw. And this is taken in at the five. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. That one goes for 24 yards. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. To throw, it's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Allen. This is caught. 
That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Cook. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Defense keeps him out of the end zone there. Now, will they go for it? And if so, can they do it one more time? Yeah, I just don't know if it's worth it going for it, because what we've seen from the defense so far, every gap is taken care of. Everyone is sound in their coverage. No one is breaking free, and those ball carriers are getting tagged. If I were them, I'd think very hard about just taking three points and taking their dignity and moving on. And the ball's at the two, spotted at the two, so a pretty good chunk to go. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. In his own end zone, it's Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. To throw is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Here's a give to Hall. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Gregory Rousseau works his way in for the stop and the loss. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Ball again on second down. He's got it up to the 15, showing off some fancy footwork there on the play. It'll be a five-yard pickup there, so from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. A punt of 46, a return of five. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And they can't break him down. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 55 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, 
in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Now Allen. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantlin. And he's taken down inside the 30. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. To the air. Allen looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Coleman. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, <laughs> stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Option play. Here's Cook. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The former third overall pick, Quinton Williams there to bring him down. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. The kick by Bass is good. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Call it a gain of a yard. Third and seven now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw, it's Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. That one goes for 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. 
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Here's Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. give up the middle fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line it'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three well done to sniff that out defensively he had it diagnosed pretty quickly I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one read his keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football here's Rodgers to throw Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Good protection there on third down. This is just a simple flip to his tight end outside the numbers. And he's able to haul it in and pick up the first down. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And out of bounds right around the 20. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Throwing is Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. Handoff running left. Here's Hall. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Rodgers to throw. He'll find Williams on the slam. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. Brandon, it's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Touchdown! Jeremy Rucker, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets have taken a fourth-quarter lead. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. 
And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And this is caught, and it's a three point game. So that effort gives him a three point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Allen in the Bills now. Down 34-31. 56 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Throwing Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Here's Allen. That's taken in by Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Allen. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, they got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle an out route. That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Now Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up first and ten here. To throw is Allen. And it's caught. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains and they save that final timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost them. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Second down, goal to go. Here's Allen. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page.
They'll run for it with Cook. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. This is first and 10. Now Rodgers. And that's caught by Williams. And he'll be taken down after a gain of eight. And defensively, they'll say, you can have that. Here's second down. Back to throw, Rodgers. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. To throw is Rodgers. Flush to, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.